When Clip Studio Paint released its companion mode feature in February, it was only available for Samsung Galaxy phones. But with their 10 year anniversary update, they've made that feature available across all platforms. Now any smartphone can be a convenient little remote for the app. Let's take a look. Hey, Ryan here. I'm an artist who likes pushing pixels around and reviewing different digital art techy things. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at Clip Studio Paint's new companion feature, which is now available to all Android devices, not just Samsung. What this does is it turns your smartphone into a handheld controller to use with Clip Studio on your computer or on your tablet. So you can use it as an express key remote, as a color wheel, but we'll get into those features in a moment. First, let's go through setting this up. You're gonna need a smartphone, of course. I've got an Android Xiaomi phone over here. You'll need a computer or a tablet with Clip Studio Paint installed. I've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite over here. It's one that I often recommend to beginners on a budget. Such a good little tablet. Anyway, if you haven't already, you're gonna to need to download Clip Studio Paint onto all your devices. If you do have it, make sure you update to the latest versions. At the time of this recording, you'll know you have the right version because the icon has a little 10 year anniversary symbol in the bottom corner. Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure that both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. Then you're gonna open up Clip Studio on the main device that you'll be drawing on. Select whichever version of Clip Studio that you're running. I'm just trialing out EX over here. On the top toolbar, you should see a small little smartphone icon over here on the right. This is for pairing your devices. There's also an option underneath the Clip Studio icon over here where you can connect your smartphone. So you're gonna tap that and a QR code will appear. Over to the phone, open up Clip Studio on there. You don't need to have it linked to an account or subscription to use this. If you select to get started with a free hour, so long as you don't have a canvas open, it's not gonna limit you to just one hour of use. It'll take a moment to set up. Then here as well, you've got the little smartphone icon. You'll tap that and select scan QR code. So you're gonna allow permissions to take photos. Once you scan it, it very quickly pairs together. Okay, there are eight different panels that you can switch through here in companion mode. The first one that pops up is your quick access shortcut sets, of which there are three that you can switch between and have different tools assigned for, for each. If you want to change up what tools are visible in, in one set, you can just scroll down to the quick access settings and a new window pops up on your main Clip Studio device. And from here, you can start adding in different, uh, different tools, different functions, change things with uh, what pen you're using, that kind of thing, and just add or remove from the side over here. I really like this feature because, you know, with many drawing tablets, you have express keys along the side that you can assign different keyboard shortcuts to. This pretty much fulfills that same function and is maybe a bit more convenient than having a separate keyboard connected to, to your tablet. The next window is your color wheel. You can adjust over here and as you do, so the color also changes in your main window. You'll be able to adjust the opacity, the size, and also set your different primary and secondary colors. The third window is pretty much a touchpad. So here you can easily navigate, rotate around your canvas, enlarge it. Uh, you can also, if you've rotated it, you can reset that rotation, set the canvas to sort of full screen again, flip it horizontally or vertically, quite nice. The next one is your reference window. Here you can import a file from your device. And when you do, it also sets up a basic color palette pulled from, from that image. Your next window is a color mixing palette. So you can put down a few strokes of color, go to your blend mode, and then you can mix those together. It'd be like a real digital Bob Ross mixing your, your digital paint. This next panel is kind of like a navigator window in most other software, but it's actually for viewing web comics. So if you're working with multiple pages, this will give you a preview of what it'll look like when you're scrolling on a phone, which is how a lot of people are consuming webtoons and web comics. It would be kind of nice here though, if they did add the option to change this to grayscale, or be able to flip it horizontally, so you can just make sure everything looks good. Uh, then we have a modifier panel, which just has your shift, alt, and control keys. Lastly, settings, not really much to 
talk about here. And that's it. So that's the nuts and bolts of Clip Studio Paint's companion mode. I also tested out this Android phone paired with the iPad and with my computer and the experience was much the same. I really think this is a great feature that they've developed and I think you'll get a lot more out of it as a tablet user rather than using it paired with a computer. On computer, you know, you likely got a, a larger screen. You're not as worried about toolbars taking up uh, real estate on your screen. You've probably got a graphics tablet with express keys along the side or a keyboard close by that you use to access your shortcuts. But working with a tablet, if you can have your phone off to the side performing those functions, that's really useful. I do hope though that they add in a layers panel into the companion mode. That'd be nice, a nice thing to have down the line. But tell me what you think of this in the comments. Is this something you're gonna be testing out? Uh, do you think there's any particular features that they should add in in the future? Infinite Painter is still my go-to app on the Galaxy tab, but I might find myself playing around a little bit more with Clip Studio now, maybe trying out their animation features as well. If you want to check it out, I've got an affiliate link in the description below. That really helps to keep the channel going if you happen to purchase through it. Anyway, that's all from me for now in this one. I'm going to carry on with this painting and I'll chat to you guys in a few days. Pew, pew.